Hi, this is Dr. Andy Barlow with the Chiropractic Neurology Center of Tupelo. Also, I'm the founder and one of six instructors for the American Functional Neurology Institute, and I can be found uh, there at afniseminars.com. So today, this is an introductory to peripheral neuropathy, and this is for doctors and for patients, and I'll show the doctors and patients as well how we help patients suffering with peripheral neuropathy. Now, of course, you have to look at the, the metabolic side, does the patient have uh, diabetes, does the person have anemia, does the person have uh, inflammation in the body, all this is going to be variables that we have to look at for patients suffering with peripheral neuropathy. Now from a neurological standpoint, we need to look at what is called the neurokinetic chain. Neurokinetic chain. And what that means is when a person has peripheral neuropathy, they have numbness and tingling in the foot or in the feet, right in the feet, uh, foot. So, <clears throat> we know where the symptom is, but where is the actual problem? Okay, so the neurokinetic chain, here we're talking about where we have to look at the lumbar spine. We have to do a neurological exam, look at a patient metabolically to see what's going on with them as well. And we want to look at this sciatic nerve. Now, the reason this is important is because there's a nerve that comes off here, a nerve root from L5. So, we want to look at somebody's x-rays and go, hey, at L5... Is there a problem? <clears throat> now the reason this is extremely important from a functional neurology standpoint is because this sciatic nerve, part of that distribution is L5, and we have what is called the tibial nerve. And this tibial nerve, what it's going to do is go down the back of your leg, the back of your gastrox, and go underneath the bottom of your foot. That's going to lead to plantar fasciitis. There's another nerve that comes off right at the popliteal fossa. And the popliteal fossa is where the knee bends. So at the, where your knee bends, there's going to be a nerve that comes off here that's called the common peroneal nerve. Now also this is going to bifurcate into a nerve that's called the superficial peroneal nerve. Now we're getting to somewhere we can actually, a nerve we can actually work with. When you have peripheral neuropathy for most patients, it's this L5 superficial peroneal nerve that's the problem. So when we're dealing with peripheral neuropathy we have to look at the lumbar spine. Why? Because the nerve from L5 travels down the sciatic nerve, the common peroneal nerve, to the superficial peroneal nerve and it goes on the outside of your leg below your knee. The superficial peroneal nerve when you're looking at your foot, so let's just say this is your big toe, your superficial peroneal nerve actually controls every toe except for your small toe. So we can actually test this and see how damaged this, this peripheral nerve is. Like for example, I can actually touch your toes and say, can you tell me how many toes are between the toes I'm touching? Like you can close your eyes and, set, and if you can identify this, then this nerve is intact. The problem is patients with peripheral neuropathy they close their eyes and they can't tell you how many toes are between the toes they're touching. And again, we have to look at the neurokinetic chain from L5, sciatic nerve, common peroneal nerve, superficial peroneal nerve, and then we can test this as a digit span test in the toes. So when we're dealing with patients with a peripheral neuropathy problem, we may have to decompress or traction the lumbar spine. Why? Because we may have stenosis at L5-S1. Why? Because L5 goes to your foot. L5 controls all of your toes except your small toe. That's your sternal nerve S1. Now, so not only we're going to have to decompress the spine, but we're going to have to do laser therapy. And we're going to do peripheral neuropathy rehab therapy on the feet as well. So the next step that we're going to take is I'm going to show you exactly with this M6 laser, where do we shoot this laser to help improve the quality of the life of a patient suffering with peripheral neuropathy. All right, and we're back. And this is the uh, M6 laser. This is one of the four lasers that we have in our clinic. Uh, this is a 25 watt class 4 laser. And the beautiful part about this laser is it's unassisted therapy. So you just shoot and walk away. Uh, this is Forrest uh, with his lovely leg here. Forrest, thank you for uh, showing us your leg here, brother. And uh, now, what we're going to do is, is, we already have the coordinate system set in here. This is There's about 25 pre-programs set up, uh, pre-programs that we can have on this. We have
have this set up for peripheral neuropathy. Now what we're doing here is we're actually shooting down this superficial peroneal nerve because the S5, the sciatic nerve, is going to come down the back of his leg and then here at the knee it's going to bifurcate it's going to come on the side of the leg and it's going to come here and control the top of his foot. So we've got to shoot the laser here. If we have stenosis in the lumbar spine, we may have to shoot the laser at L5 and then it's the superficial peroneal nerve. And then uh, for, uh, we're going to turn it on so you can actually see what this looks like. <coughs> and as you can see, hopefully on there, that this laser is shooting a beam about this big. And then, of course, when we're finished here, what we would do is we would have the patient lay on his back and we would shoot the laser on the top of his foot. So minimum, minimum that we're going to do here is we're going to shoot the superficial peroneal nerve and we're going to shoot the top part of the foot. Uh, so the next step that we're going to do is we're going to see how are we going to distract the spine to get the pressure off the lumbar spine at L5, and that will be the next step that we're going to take. All right, so this uh, awesome piece of equipment right here is uh, called Back on Track System. And you can actually go online at backontrack.com, uh, back, B-A-C-K, on, and then T-R-A-C. Com. This is a phenomenal piece of equipment. There are 15 different programs that you can actually put a patient on this. And what we, you're going to see is you're going to see this uh, table distract. And I have it set up so that it's going to laterally bend 20 degrees. Now, of course, you're not going to start a patient out of that. I'm just going to show you the extremes of what a patient can, or we can set this program to. So we have vibration of the thoracic spine. We have vibration of the lumbar spine. You control here. And then the distraction, the time, and the vibration. So we're going to lean forward back. We're also going to put the peripheral neuropathy rehab therapy. Now we're going to put this these pads from rebuildermedical.com. We're going to put these pads on the bottom of this piece right here. And the reason for this is we want to wake up this nerve pathway all the way down to L5. Okay? So this is going to actually vibrate the foot. We're going to turn this on while he's doing therapy. And literally within 15 seconds, I can have him strapped in. Okay, he's ready to go. And then we're going to let him hold this. Have to give him something to do with his hands. You have a 15 minute or 15 second delay to get everything set up. And this is going to distract his spine. Now again, you have full control of no distractions. One inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch. And then you have 15 programmable, uh, uh, well, 15 different programs that you can have on here for the patient. They can distract and let off 100%, distract and let off 50%. You can bend 10 degrees and hold it, come back to center and hold it, 10 degrees to the right holds it, or you can do a sweep. We have it on the sweep setting at 20 degrees. Now we would have to do the neurological exam and look at this patient to see where do we need to start this individual for care. So, Today, what we've gone over with our peripheral neuropathy uh, therapy, first of all, we have to look at the neurokinetic chain. We have to look at the lumbar spine, namely, but not only, namely at L5. Why would we want to do that? Because L5 superficial peroneal nerve comes out of your lumbar spine, goes down the side of your leg, and it controls all of your toes except for your small toe. So, if you have any questions, you can call my office at 662 844-1414. Once again, I'm Dr. Andy Marlowe. I'm a board-certified chiropractic neurologist, and I want to thank you so much for the time that we spent today.